Are spruce trees the most profitable in Farming Simulator 22? Well, that's what we're going to find out here today. As you can see, I've got some spruce right here in front of me. Over here on this side, I've got a ponderosa pine and a lodgepole pine. So the way I ran this test is I cut these logs into different sections. Anything from 4 meters all the way up to a full length of the tree. You know, we did eight meters, 12 meters, everything in between. And I did it with all three different types of trees here, the spruce, the lodgepole, and the ponderosa. Once I had a batch of logs done, I brought over the mobile wood cell point right here. This is a mod by Yoast. It's part of the mobile utilities mod available on the mod hub for all platforms. The really awesome thing is you can uh, pick this one up and take it anywhere you need. So if you want to cut down an entire forest, then just walk around and sell all the wood, you absolutely can. And as I went along, I put all of the information into one of my spreadsheets. Let me go and show you that right here. So you can see that on the left hand side, I've got the ponderosa pine, the lodgepole pine, and then a spruce because I wanted to compare spruce against these other two because it's a control. We knew roughly how it was from the original base game portion of Farming Simulator 22. And another thing that I wanted to point out is the tree height. All of these are very close together in tree height. The ponderosa pine is 35.9 meters, lodgepole is 36.5, and the spruce is 35.8. Now, not every tree that you find here on the map is going to be the same height. The ones in my test are all ones that I planted using the various types of tree planters with the saplings. So they're all the exact same height. But some of these over here, like you can see right here, this lodgepole is only 23.2 meters versus this one right here, which is 36.3. We're going to go and start with ponderosa pine here, and I'm going to show you everything across from four meters all the way to a full tree. You can see here at four meters, it starts off at $6,016 when I sell every single bit of the tree. Now, not every piece was exactly four meters. We did have a little section at the end and all the way to a full tree, which is only 3,825. So that's definitely not the way to go. You know, you're making quite a bit less if you take the entire tree all at one time. Now, which one is the best price here? Well, that's going to be your nine meters. That's going to be $7,615. It's very close to the six meter and the eight meter. Both of those are right around $7,570, you know, 64 in that range right in there. Only a $6 difference between those two. So I guess the great debate on which one's better, six or eight, I think it really depends on exactly how long you cut your tree, like how close you get it to the ground that could make up that $6 difference right there. Let's go ahead and move on to lodgepole pine. You can see for the four meter logs, I was able to get $6,542. So that means I was able to make $500 more on the lodgepole pine tree than I did with the ponderosa pine. Now it could have to do with the height of the tree. You know, we're 0.4 meters taller. So there could be just that little bit more there. And if you go all the way to the right, you can see that a full tree is only going to be about 4146. So you definitely want to cut this thing up into some pieces. But how big of pieces do you want to do? Well, once again, it's nine meter logs. $8,376 is the best price that I got. And the last line on my list here is spruce. And that's just so we can see how well that compares to the base game trees. Well, for the four meter logs, I was only able to get $3,080 for an entire tree. That's substantially lower than I got with the other two. You could see $3,000 or $3,500 less for a spruce tree than I got with the other two pines. And the thing is on the height, it's not that much difference. It only is a half meter difference. The biggest thing on this tree is the top of it really starts to taper in quite a bit. And you see all the way on the right, you're only going to make about 1500 bucks if you take this entire tree in. So which one's the best? Well, that's going to be six meter logs at 3,788. Interesting though, your nine meters came in second at 3,738 and then eight meters at 3,702. So I really don't think it matters very much between six, eight, and nine. Kind of whatever your, you, your preference is, you know what I mean? If you've got a log trailer that can hold the nines, Maybe do it at nine. But if you want to keep doing six meters, because that's what you're used to, then you're not going to lose anything at all on this one. And the other ones, you're really not going to lose that much either. I mean, only maybe $100 on a tree. Well, that settles it. 
for the Platinum expansion here in Farming Simulator 22, your Lodge Pole Pine is the most profitable tree. You know, since I can't cut down any sequoias, I'm going to go and cut down a whole bunch of these. 